Right, that's it. Welcome back to another video beer review. Today we've got a beer out of Imbev. It is the aroma. There we are in a can. Um, big thanks to Adam, Mersey Beers, for picking this one up for me. Um, he told me about it and then I saw it in a shop. He, he told me about it, bought it for me, and then I saw it in a local shop in, uh, to me. Um, it's a new beer it's basically along the lines of these madries and the you know chris campo and things like that a a foreign sounding beer that is produced under license uh, in the uk i from what i understand it is a italian brand but then they brought it over here brewing it over here probably butchering it over here as well um i had a can last night um it is different for sure to a lot of other kind of um, lagers um, on the market. Um, do I think it's going to do as well as Madri or, you know, we're, we're really seeing the Cruz Campo kind of not taking over, but really having the, that kind of flight because I think Madri's done well since like during lockdown sort of time um, was when it was started really getting pushed and then Cruz Campo obviously come afterwards taken up the market, Madri's gone up in price. Madri initially came in at the same sort of price as Carling. Um, and then they're pushing it basically above the price of Carling and it is effectively Spanish Carling. Um, cracking marketing campaign, but you know, there's a lot of, I think Simon uh, Real Craft Beer talks a bit about this, about the customer being duped into buying. A lot of people don't get fucking flying fuck to be honest. They they see Madri, they see Cruz Campo, think it's Spanish. That's that's fine, um, but for other drinkers, you do kind of get duped. You have the feeling of being duped a little bit. And again, kind of had this one with this, but we did check it beforehand, um, and it's kind of come out of nowhere. This one as well, um, the aroma. Never heard of that brand before. Um, I think Madri was a brand in Spain before. And Cruz Campo definitely was a brand in Spain as well before, but um, yeah, Via Roma I've never heard of, I think because we don't really get many Italian beers in the UK. But um, the she La Lupa, the She Wolf protected Romulus, without her we wouldn't have founded Rome. The eternal city where ancient streets nurture fresh ideas, like this refreshing lager infused with a subtle hint of Italian orange. It's not subtle at all. Um, it is a big orangey sort of note, and it's not a natural one either. 4.5% ABV. Um, calories, if you care about that sort of thing. 170, so it's about the standard. Um, ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, blood orange extract. Uh, brewed in the UK. Um, Imbev. Here, a uh, UK. Limited, so oh, pardon me. Um, I can't remember where that is. I could be yawning on the beer review, but um, it's been a long day. Um, I think it's like Bedford and like Luton, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, let's crack this one open anyway. And, well, I know what it's like. I had a can yesterday. Um, so I think they're two out of a four pack. Um, like I said, I've seen bottles in Waitrose. Um, but um, I can't remember, you know, what well, yesterday I know exactly what it tasted like, but I drank it straight out of the can sort of thing, so I didn't get to see the colour on it. Crystal clear. Um, slight kind of golden colour to it. Single finger white coloured head. Looks alright, looks as like a standard lager. The nose on it is bready biscuity sort of thing. And then you get... A bit of a hint of like blood orange um, and it's almost like a blood orange kind of floor cleaner sort of thing um, it smells almost Rabbler like so I think I was saying yesterday as well it smells almost like a Rabbler um, but imagine like a lager and lime sort of thing but then you've got orange in, in it instead um, it smells real cheap cheers It's just a very generic, basic lager. Brewed, you know, well enough by one of these macros. Um, but then has that synthetic blood orange hit above it. So, 
I argue that it tastes better than something like an Elvis juice because <laughs> it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit more easy drinking than an Elvis juice. But I'd argue it's going down down those sort of lines in terms of. I mean, Elvis juice. I think it's grapefruit, but um, <sighs> bloody L was I think might have been orange, blood orange. Um, so that sort of a thing. Um, if you had those beers before. Just think like your blood orange flavoured IPA, but in a lager. Synthetic and I think Indus and Gun did a couple of lager well blood orange IPAs and that sort of thing. And it's just got the same, you know, flavouring in it effectively. Which makes it, you know, re pretty easy drinking. Um but I think at the same time your average lager drinker might not like it because that's quite a dominant flavour. Um, and for me, it wouldn't be the sort of thing I'd go for. I'd much rather have, a, have you know, as anyone knows me, I do drink macro beer as well. I would, I'd rather have any macro beer um, than something that is feigning to be something else. Um, it's it's okay, is what it is. Um, do I see it taking off? I said that before. I don't really think so. Um, it's going to no doubt there'll be plenty of marketing and promotion behind it, and we are going to see it all over the place. But I don't think it's going to be all over the place for that long. Um, maybe in two or three months, people will start picking up on it. The mass masses will start picking up on it and there'll be more advertising uh, campaigns behind it and that sort of thing um, that will promote it and then we'll see the kind of peak and then obviously trough of this beer it reminds me uh, to an extent of you know when they brought out heavily um, and then you had um, there was like five grains as well before it it seems like they're trying to find that additional market share and it's not there for this sort of thing for me this this just won't work on it on, on a mass scale but you never know i could be completely wrong and it works really well but yeah it's just not for me the aroma um thanks again to adam for picking up the cans just so i could give it a review because it is always interesting to, to to do this sort of thing but yeah just not for me see you next time cheers